I know when Sarah was in a wheelchair, we found it really hard to find a park, for starters, that we could get a wheelchair in and out. We have experiences on a regular basis that my staff go out and assist them to be able to get back into their cars. And it really doesn't meet today's standards. You know, the depth of that gutter is very dangerous. Growing up in this town, you know, there's footpaths in this town that the exact same footpaths that I used to walk across. And The fact is that across Kingaroy, we have failing infrastructure. It's old and it desperately needs replacement. Hi, uh, my name's Josh Marshall. I'm, uh, I'm an access consultant that works for Inclusion Access. So Inclusion Access is an access consultancy business. Uh, we also offer inclusive practice education and disability advocacy. So our aim is to ensure the world is a place that everybody belongs and uh, can participate in however they want to. I've been asked by the South Burner Regional Council to work as an access consultant on the Kingaroy Transformation Project to ensure that it aligns with the Disability Discrimination Act so that everybody with any form of accessibility uh, concern or disability can actually feel part of the community and can live in a community where everything is, is right for them. Our underground infrastructure is failing here in Kingaroy and the reality is when we tear it up we have to take the roads and the footpaths with it and to replace it we have to build infrastructure that's to the standards of today. We simply do not have a choice and that's the reality as to why we are losing so many car parks across the CBD. We can't put what we once had and so to meet the standards of today we have to replace it in accordance with those. They are going to be levelling the, the, the parking for disabled um, and bringing it up to the curbside or if they can't do that they will ramp it. So it will mean that I'll be able to hop out of my car, go along the side of my vehicle, onto the footpath and not be, you know, in the traffic. Hi, my name's Sharon Butcher. I um, own the florist shop in Kingaroy, Linard Floral and Bridal Centre in Haley Street. Um, I'm a business owner. I'm also a mum who has uh, a 27 year old daughter who has a disability. Um, and I just wanted to have a quick chat about the Kingaroy Transformation Project. And I think it's a great idea to beautify our town, especially people coming in to the South Burnet, the first thing they see. Also, it'll be great to get our curbing fixed so that people with disabilities can walk safely down our main street or if someone's in a wheelchair, you don't have to be the expectant mum like myself where you're concerned that your um, wheelchair is going to dig in. The King Road Transformation Project to me means um, a regeneration of, of our town, of our community. So what this means for people is that if you're in a wheelchair, if you're in a walker, if you're on crutches, and if you've just had an operation, we know how hard it is to get around after an operation. So it's going to be so much easier for everybody to get out of their vehicles and up onto that footpath. Um, my name's Annette Ivans and I own Kingaroy Home Aids and First Aid Training in Kingaroy Street. Uh, we have, um, well I noticed today that uh, an elderly lady was trying to get down from the gutter and struggled with her wheelie walker. So I assisted her in trying to get it you know her safely down because she had to park further down the street as well because the gutter is so much deeper there. Yeah um, sometimes it, you know we've had them that they've even just said in the front of our shop oh it's so hard to get into your shop because of the the guttering so you know yes having that um, done will hopefully help bring the community out a bit more. We've got patients of all age brackets of all ability we range from those that are able-bodied to those on walking sticks to those that are on wheelie walkers, hoppers, um, moon boots, crutches, wheelchairs, manual, wheelchairs powered. So it's challenging for them to get in and out and we have experiences on a regular basis that my staff go out and assist them to be able to get back into their cars. And look at this bitumen, it's old, it's fallen apart, it makes it very difficult to use. 
the King Rush Transformation Project's going to make this area so much easier and barrier free so all people in society can use this. So this here I'm told is the first accessible park uh, here in uh, Kingaroy across the road from the uh, shopping mall. It's got a curb ramp here that's exactly the standard it's easy to transfer up. It's, uh, it's safe and it's going to prevent people from kicking their toes and falling over. The other good thing that I can see along here is the edging of the footpath. It's actually not very high at all so people can actually step up it quite easily and not be at risk of falling over and hurting themselves. That's an excellent thing from a safety point of view. With the um, upgrade to the King Road Transformation Project, the upgrade to Lions Park with a big pin-up going in there, we've got the barbecue going in Lions Park which everybody can use, all abilities, everybody. And I think that that's what this town needs, that's what this area needs. On completion of this project, no person with a disability will need to walk more than 50 metres to a shop front in town. Someone told me once that wouldn't it be great if we looked at people with um, disabilities and all abilities as, well not as people with disabilities and all abilities, but we looked at them as everybody. So, and that's what this transformation project is. It's a King Road Transformation Project is for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are and what you can do. This is for you.